Welcome to Julie Mango TV. I'm Robin Bourne, and today we have director of Citric Acid, Eleni Chung, and actors Arya Song and Wei Ren. In Citric Acid, Ainul and Yu Xing are working fine artists who have an intimate platonic relationship and unspoken competition that may be heading towards a little bit of a breaking point. If you watch the film, you will see. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. Hi, thank you for having us. No problem. <laughs> so we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to start off with you, Eleni. So to kick things off, tell our viewers about your Caribbean heritage. Uh, yeah, I'm Eleni Chung. Uh, I was born and raised in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, on my dad's side, that's like a couple generations, uh, but my mom is directly from China. Yeah, okay. and I, I moved to LA like maybe 10 ish years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can still hear a little bit of a little accent there. So, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to keep it. Okay, so jumping into the film Citric Acid, it has many, many layers. Especially for a short, there's a lot packed in, and I love that. So, not just in terms of the relationship between Ainu and Yu Xing but the cultural and artistic nuances are also layered as well. How much of the story was developed through research versus your lived and observed experiences? Um, I would say like a good chunk of it was sort of based on uh, lived experiences. In terms of research, definitely uh, more on the uh, sort of like uh, formal art side of things and a bit about how artworks um, on a very you know superficial level um, but it was based a lot specifically on me kind of observing relationships between people in the same field um, and a lot of times that they're very um, you know people can be very close but sometimes it could be a little claustrophobic or sometimes it could be you know a little bit more open-ended that way um, but definitely in terms of like the relationship side of things I was looking at my relationship with some friends and then uh, their relationships with each other and everything especially when you're in the same field with that person yes um, I completely understand there's definitely going to be some comparisons and some little sticky situations in relationships so that's interesting to know that it was um, based off of your own experiences because you are an artist so um, question though, plot wise, was it really, really close to something that you experienced personally? I don't mm. want to go away too much, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we're talking about plot, are we talking about like the ending plot wise? If it were... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How yes and no. Um, nothing that physical or that, um, that dramatic. I could say uh -huh. that in terms of, um, like one time I was working on a film set with uh, with a very close friend of mine and I was like multitasking 10,000 different things as you do have to do in these sort of settings sometimes. And I thought at one point that I might have damaged something of hers mm. and it freaked me out. And I was driving to set the next day, like thinking I had already like a cry session the night before <laughs> and I was driving to set and I was just like, I should divert go to the airport and just like <laughs> get out of here <laughs> um but thankfully i actually didn't destroy whatever it was and um like she didn't know until many years later when i like kind of blurted out like did you know this happened and yeah but otherwise um otherwise like it turned out okay happy ending after all <laughs> <laughs> that is very very good to know because um it wasn't so quite a happy ending. Well, we never know. Will there ever be an extension? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I wrote Citric Acid, I did have like a full thing afterwards that would happen. Um, mm -hmm. Like if, for example, the film turned out to just like extend on and on and on. Mm -hmm. um, but the resolution of that ending is a little to be determined. Okay, okay. Well, I'm hoping that maybe there will be a feature in the future because I was definitely wondering where she at and how long she's staying there. She, <laughs> but again, let me not give away too much. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the style. 
stylistically, the film also has um, a quality that feels very connected to a specific point of view. Would you say that the mix of documentary, narrative, and art is actually a nod to artistry itself? Um, I would, yes and no. I kind of, uh, in the initial kind of uh, script of it, I always had the documentary part of it because I was sort of mimicking a little bit um, a certain short film that I had seen that was um, sort of interviewing artists, I guess. And it was done in a, uh, not a mockumentary style, but it was definitely like fusing art and, um, not art, like uh, definitely fusing documentary and uh, fiction. And I kind of wanted to do this with this one because I really wanted the viewer to understand the type of um, person I know is through her art. So rather than her saying, I'm doing, uh, this is this is me as a person, or I'm doing this or whatever, like I'm, I kind of figured having her explain her art actually means her explaining herself. And it's the same with Yuxing as well. You get a bit of her backstory and a bit of um, kind of her thinking process as well. Because for them, I imagine that the art that they make reflects who they are. So that was like my intention with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. It definitely mends all of them in very, very well. Mm, thank you. <laughs> no problem. So Aria, question for you. So we can see that Aino's experiences um, come off as a bit more isolating than Yu Shen's, even though they both work mostly independently. What's your take on the concept of two individual artists following the same path simultaneously, even as friends, and how that can test their barriers? Um, kind of similar to what Eleni was saying earlier in terms of, and also yourself, uh, comparison with your peers. Um, and art is such a subjective thing that it's hard to, you know, qualify anything right um i think there's so much room for interpretation exploration even if two people are heading towards the same goals their successes or failures or whatever that may be could be completely different throughout the entire process so but nevertheless we're human beings so i think we have the tendency to want to compare and contrast and you know place a measurement in terms of where we are along that line um it's interesting because as friends you want to have that support system you want to have someone along the journey with you it helps more often than not but when thankfully their artistic styles were different so it wasn't to the point where i was like oh well we're making similar work and then you can really you know say oh well that person is receiving receiving more viewers versus you know myself or whatever but our work was so different stylistically that i didn't really See a comparison in that sense but more of you know the acceptance into the foundation and whatnot um but yeah the, the journey is so different for each person regardless that um friendships are necessary but they can also be tested when it's the same field mm -hmm. it is isolating yeah we definitely see i know pull back a lot actually to the point where she makes a crucial decision regarding their um their partnership and their friendship have you ever had to because as as an actor i am very confident that you were able to act out that situation probably without anything bringing you to it personally but have you been through a situation like that personally where you were kind of able to channel that in a sense a uh, situation in terms of making the decision to step away yeah sort of when you have that that really close relationship with somebody, but then we see her, she has to be forced to make this situation for herself. Oh, sorry, this decision for herself in the situation. You know, actually, I think rather than friends, I found that I did that with my parents mm -hmm. or my family because um, when I started this career pursuing a profession, I actually became very isolated and I didn't really allow the room for a lot of friends. I was like, this is my goal. This is my intention. I'm just going to focus on that. So in terms of friendships within the industry, I didn't have too many of that to, you know, play around in. But with my family, I found that in order to really pursue this the way that I want to, I needed to distance myself from their expectations and um, 
any judgment that they place on the process and just completely not shun them aside, but just realize, okay, that's them and this is me. And in order to make um, the progress that I want to and take the steps that I want to without things holding me back, I had to isolate myself from them even more in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that actually is very, very isolating thinking about it because, you know, you can't share successes with the people that you love most and you don't feel like they understand you. And when there are mm -hmm. things that you're proud of and you want to share with them and they don't necessarily uh, receive it in the way that you anticipate, it means um, sad and sorrowful in a way. Yeah. Way as an actor as well, have you had the same experience or can you relate to the experience that you see in the film between the two characters? Um... Honestly, it's been so long. <laughs> I just feel like I I see a lot of myself in Arya's char character character because uh, I feel like I can relate to Arya's just her personal experience. But I'm also kind of lucky. I feel like I most of the people, my family, my friends, they are kind of like. Oh, they're supportive and they understand me or are trying to understand me. Um, even though, you know, it's really, it's a hard, tough business and you some, you just, it's a, it's very lonely career. I feel like, I feel like in every kind of social scene, I can't really, nobody's really have similar personal experience than you. Like, people just don't understand like what it's like to be an actor. It's really tough to be an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually like that um, you even brought that up. You said not a lot of people know or no one knows what it is like. And again, that's basically what we see in the film between the two characters. Nobody knows what it's like except the people in your field. But then going around the circle again, but the people in your field, it is a different relationship. It's never going to be the same. So I'm actually kind of glad that you both um, had those two different point of views because it kind of stems back into, again, the premise of the film itself. I see Elaine, you took yourself off the mute. Do you want to add something? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, definitely I was kind of thinking, I actually was thinking about it earlier today of just like the close friends that I have back home in Trinidad and um, like elsewhere. Uh, who aren't in film, like I connect with them definitely in some other way. But the people that I'm friends with who are filmmakers, like we have a different, not that we have a different way of relating to each other, but we have a different way of like almost um, like uh, interacting isn't even the right word, but we do see each other a little differently and not necessarily in a competitive sense, but we bond um, either stronger in some areas and like weak in other areas. Um, I mean, I think about like the relationships that I have with my friends back home in Trinidad, you know, we have like a, a very strong history there versus like with filmmaking, a lot of that, a lot of the people that I've met are more in my adulthood. So I feel like we bond out of like necessity almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> Sometimes it is just kind of, well, we're here, we're friends we get each other <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah so i do want to bring up a very important quote we found this very very important home is different from for me i'm gonna say that again home is different for me that was a very powerful statement from i know so eleni their difference in perspective while being so close is really the through line of the film, right? Because we, with that quote, I really feel like it was solidified there. Mm. Yeah, um, with that line, I was definitely thinking about um, Yu Xing's relationship to, uh, to both China and the US, and also, I guess, like Aino's relationship with both countries, because the script is supposed to be that um, even if it's not 100% clear in the final version, which I, I'm completely okay with, but um, the original the original concept is that I know is Chinese American, 
or like Asian American in whatever sense. And um, at Yuxing was in my mind always going to be like Chinese from China, probably doesn't see the US as home. Um, mm -hmm. So their relationship with the land that they're living on is very different from you know one's interpretation over the other. So when uh, so when Yuxing presents this like possible example and then says like what does home mean and all this other stuff and I know was just thinking that doesn't define home for her and I, I was thinking about that in terms of like their artwork as well um, that I know is a bit more ethereal and not ethereal like um, you know like sensorial with her with the work that she makes and sometimes that's not direct in terms of like with um, like speaking about like Yuxing is speaking about politics or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but again, like, I kind of liked that both of them were a little bit ambiguous in the sense that when you watch the film, you don't know 100% if Yuxing is Chinese or Chinese American or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I do think it does matter what they define home as, and it differs between both of them. Mm -hmm. I can definitely say that it wasn't completely lost because I did pick that up as well. I just wanted to get that confirmation yeah. that you, to be completely honest, because you can see a difference between them culturally. And mm. I, it would be bad to say, it, to me, it's not stereotypical in that sense. It's, it's slight differences. So you really do catch that, okay, especially with Yushen's art being predominantly focused on China with the, I'm not going to expose what the art piece was, but it does still have a, connect, a connection to China, whereas Aria, her art doesn't necessarily have that connection. So yeah. again, that quote is very, very important because I guess that was the realization that, okay, we're not really on the same path. We're not thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 